Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Commodity Futures Report for Friday, April 22nd and the US dollar index. Now, you know, I counted up here and we're having a, a top in place and, uh, and I just expected it to be hanging around here for a while. But if the if the S&P 500 and the other indices and tech stocks are all going to be moving down, then the euro US dollar is likely to be moving down, which might sort of push this up even higher. Um, <clears throat> so I'll just just continue to wait. I mean, I don't really have any answers for it. I, I knew we'd get here and we'll be sticking here for a while. But beyond that, um, I just wanted to wait to see what we get. But yeah, look, there's a good possibility that we could just push up further. Um, but one such a strong number, even though it's 100 here and 10,000 because it's a CFD product, um, we should expect some swings across here, um, you know, within the range too. I mean, this, um, if this will be group one here, one, two, and three, so, and then group two here. So when we talk about this number here and the, and the patterns that can occur at this, at this level, I normally look in this space here and, and consider anything inside here as corrective and belonging to this, this number here. It's only when the number three here becomes the tested support that it's leaving this number to the upside and the same with the downside. So <clears throat> yeah, and look, I just still it's just really arrived. So I'll just leave it. I don't really have any answers. Um, so it does look like the euro will push down. So this is probably going to push up. We might end up. Yeah, I just don't know. I won't open my gob just yet because I don't know. Um, over to the gold market. This is uh, GTX here and yesterday when we spoke about this we looked at well an A wave here and a B wave here and the market's fallen out of bed here. So we can look at this here as wave one here and two here and three here and we'll look for four and five to come down for wave A and then an ABC pattern and then down for the C wave here before we see any upside. This is also group two here and group one of 40 and that will be its swing range in there but we don't need that there for the time being. So yeah, that's where that is. And um, let's move along to uh, US spot gold. So uh, I've been looking at this in two ways. I should do some extra work and pull this apart, but it did count okay as, um, as wave one to here. But I know silver has got wave one here for this. So the thing is, is that I know we're going to have a rally. Um, I just don't know in gold's thing, we go to here and then we go down or <clears throat> we go up here, <clears throat> back and then up again. So an A and a B and a C wave here. So that's what I don't quite know just yet. I'll need to spend some time on this and really sort of sort this out. But silver has got one, two, three here, like I've got here, four and four five to here to make wave one and we're looking up there so anyway whatever you whichever way you want to look at it we're going for a rally and then we're going to be going down and uh, we'll look for the short trade over this side but not just yet i'll just keep moving this up into the right space each time so with uh silver here it's a little bit more obvious we've got the first move here the second the third, fourth, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five here <clears throat> it has pulled back quite a bit here so it looks like i've made um, a mistake uh, here, but um, let's just see what we've got here. Even if we get another low here, then I still think we'll push up. We've got an impulse wave here. Maybe, you know, maybe I've got this as one and two here, and then the third wave to here, then the fourth, and then the fifth wave here, and then we go up. But we would definitely be looking for a counter trend to this impulse wave, and we'll be looking for an ABC pattern, and we'll be looking for short trades on this side because we got five waves in the opposite direction of the previous trend that means that we'll get another five over here for that so um, we will uh, look to short short that but um, yeah so that's sort of where we are it should sort of tag along a little bit um, but GDX has still got a move to come down if I, I don't know where I, it's all pretty straightforward I think um, anyway we'll see Would we need that counter trend before we can short anyway iron ore um, yeah, we're just looking at this drifting back down into this area and then pushing up from there. <clears throat> I hope we don't have a high in here. I mean, the only way we can have a high in if, if I need to look at that as one and two in here. But this this wave two or this bar that came down here was lower than this one. So I sort of 
you know, added to that. But, I'm, but I was thinking as one and two and three and four and five here for this wave C to sit here. But I'll just see how that goes. So I'm still quite happy with wave four here being here. It's just that some of the other commodities looking weak. Um, this could roll over as well. So um, keep an eye on that. We're clearing out of iron ore stocks, by the way. Um, because the stocks are, you know, they move with the commodities, but they've kind of got their own life as well. Um, so, yeah, so crude oil here. Uh, once again, I'm going to look at this as, as one and two and three and four and five here for the A wave, an A and a B and a C for the B wave here. And then we'll look at this coming down here in terms of, terms of um, does it look like it wants to come down, does it? anyway we'll look for five waves over this side for this because that's at the 61.8 percent here if i've made a mistake and this is one two three four five here but it's got overlapping wave structures um if that is the case we can go long above there make no mistake about that we'll look for a classic trading levels pattern on the 500 and that of course will look like this here if that's the 500 across here we'll have the arrival the reaction you need to wait for this process because it, the market can go through all of this process here come to this point and fail at that point right so that's why you need it that's why we go long above the b wave here that one first then that one and we can get a better position here and sometimes we can get a better position over here but this is where it also fails as well so that's where you need to be uh careful about that and uh yeah so that's where we are with that just waiting for an abc pattern we're looking at this as possibly being wave one up here with an a and a b and a c and then moving up higher at that point um so we won't get caught out if that is the B wave here. We need to look at this as one and two here and coming down for three here. We'll look to short it after we get these first five waves here in that case. So, And uh, copper. So, yeah, I was thinking uh, here either the B wave or wave one and looking at it as an A wave or wave one and then a B wave and a C wave over here. So I should remove that because that's not quite going to be right. We'll need to get the right things happening over here for that. But it's also possible that this could be down here and that could be over there for that. So we'll see, we need the right, we need to get all the right things here, but there's nothing we can really do in this, uh, in this period here. It's just very difficult to get an impulse wave out of this here. I suppose we could in terms of an A and a B. No, it doesn't work. I think this is the best bet for that. And uh, nickel. So yesterday we've been talking about this as five waves up here for one ABC for two here and then a bit, bit of dodginess in here. But looking at that as wave one here, we're all looking for wave two to pull back into this space here. It's tripping up there quite nicely. But at the same time, too, I mentioned that we could look at this as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave to this point. So we need a very clear breach of that high there. So one way you could look at it, that's very close to 34 here. <clears throat> bit lower but that's okay so if we've got a classic trading levels pattern here so we could look at that as the arrival the reaction we still need the first high above the level and then we'll look for an a little abc pattern here and then a move up over there and then we can bring this here over to that there and then we know that we've got an impulse wave because i could look at this as an a and a b and one two three four five very dodgy i probably shouldn't even do say that but that would that would leave the abc to that point there and then we can come down from there so anyway we just need to clear that out of the way because of this here and we don't have a lot of history beyond that now because of the dodginess in <clears throat> the LME. Um, yeah, but we could also look at this as one and two and one and two here, or even coming down here for two and then moving up there as well. So there's a few different, not quite there yet, but we're getting there. We'll just work it into a corner and we'll pick it up at the right time. And uranium has become weaker than I would like it. In fact, it's followed the equity market down, which is not a good look. So I've been looking at it as one and two and one and two and then one, two, three, four, five for one and two building to the upside. But I can see that it's quite sad, you know. It's not sort of, sort of, you know, it's not sort of cranking to the upside um, like gas has done. <clears throat> I suppose it's a bit of a... Um, 
an unclear supply ma- supply market, you know, um, in terms of, uh, you know, we know Japan has got is the biggest, they've got 11 or 12 or 13 sort of reactors there. So, you know, they're a market and Germany's got three that they can bring on and but they probably won't, they'll go to coal. And so there's all these sorts of things. But it's interesting that it f- the market fell in line with, um, with, um, with the equity market. But this is an ETF here, but um, this is a URE. I should put that on there. <clears throat> but I just wanted to see now if we've got this as an A and a B and a C wave here. A little bit sharp for a C wave, so that's a little bit haunting. So what we've got to kind of work out is if we, um, we've we got this coming back up to the 38.2% retracement level here and then making a new low here. And obviously at that point, then we've got a problem at that point and we've got some long positions in here. So once we've got that in there, if, if we get five waves down here, that means we have to get out on the rally. So that means that we need to get out back up at this point here, that will be our saving grace at that point. <clears throat> if we get five waves down, we'll have to get out back up, there'll be three waves back up to probably this level up here at the lower end of group two, 2650 will be the target to get out at at that point. Let's just see what we've got at this stage. And uh, natural gas, it's <clears throat> held up quite well. As you know, we're just looking for an A and a B and a C. I'm not really sure, I haven't sort of, couldn't really, I mean, that looks like one and two and three here. And then an ABC, an ABC for wave four and down for wave five, but obviously it overlaps wave one, but we're still short on waves coming down here. So um, I just hope that low stays in place at this point. And certainly the 650 at this point, don't particularly need that. Um, <clears throat> but let's just see how this goes. I mean, it came down strong, it rallied and then it sort of, is that all you got left in here? You know, I mean, it's kind of getting support in this area here. So we'll just see what it looks like at this point, but that's 38.2% retracement level at that point. And um, we'll see how that uh, how that plays out. Uh, well, that's it. That was very quick today, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Alrighty, I'll leave it at that and uh, enjoy the weekend. Cheers.